Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for May 14th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, U.S. President Donald Trump unveiled plans to increase competition in the prescription medicine market and lower patients' out-of-pocket costs. The proposals include lifting rules preventing government programs from negotiating better discounts. Although direct talks with drug makers will not be allowed, the blueprint, dubbed American Patients First, contains more than 50 initiatives, including incentives for drug companies to lower list prices. In addition, the plans include pushing other developed nations with tighter price controls to pay more in the interest of fair trade. In other news, Eli Lilly agreed to acquire Orca Pharma under a deal potentially worth more than $500 million, bringing back in-house the experimental cancer drug AK-01. In 2016, Eli Lilly sold the Aurora Kinase A inhibitor to TVM Capital Life, with the latter forming Orca Pharma to pursue further development of the drug. In addition, Takeda said it expects revenue this fiscal year to fall 1.9% to 1.7 trillion yen, hit by the loss of exclusivity on Belcade in the U.S. In addition, annual net profit is forecast to slip 25.6% to 139 billion yen. And finally, Indivier reached a settlement with Endo's Par Pharmaceutical Unit and Intelgenex Technologies to resolve U.S. patent litigation related to Suboxone film. Under the deal, Parr is allowed to begin selling a generic version of Suboxone film on January 1, 2023, or earlier under certain circumstances. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.